I'm going to do this one here as well from Hasib. Thank you, Hasib, for submitting this ticket. I appreciate it. Windows does not update. Windows does not update. It gives me the following error. Windows is not able to update because there is an issue with time and date. Uh, I mean, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, make sure that your date and time is matching to what your date and time is supposed to be. So look at your you know, date and time and just kind of make sure that is correct. Uh, you know, simple as that, right? So if you're not having issues, you know, like pull out your cell phone and look at the time and then look at the computer time and then change it accordingly. Make sure it's correct. Date and time, not just time, date and time. And this is why, you know, it's not, it, it's very specific. Windows does not update uh, because it says not unable to update because the issue with the time and date. Yeah, you know. So you can do that. The If you're having issues with time and date, like your date and time is like different from what it's supposed to be or it's constantly changing, that could be caused by BIOS battery going out. So if you look at BIOS battery, if it goes bad, this is super rare, but there is a battery. See, there's a battery. Here's an example on the, I think what this looks like a laptop or something. Or any computer have these BIOS batteries. They keep the memory inside, sort of like you have a wristwatch that powers on battery and it has a battery in it and it keeps the time. And in this case, BIOS keeps the BIOS settings on there as well. Uh, so it don't, they don't go to default of, from a manufacturer for what he said it. So if that's, you know that's kind of a rare issue right but if you want to get past that if like if that's not the issue you might want to try using windows windows update assistant i think that's what it's called windows update assistant so go to microsoft and windows update assistant and here we go download the update windows update assistant what this will do will install the most recent version of windows on your computer i don't know why it's not pulling up now windows i i clicked on it well here here's the link if you're interested uh it will probably work whenever you try to look it up i don't know why it's not looking working for me oh there it is so you go down here and you know you download it and then this will run a Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. I'm sorry. It's the first one. This one is to install Windows operating system. This one here. So if you go to this one, update now, it's going to download download this. You see, you see it says here Windows 10 upgrade, and it's going to download it and install the most re re recent version of Windows, which in this case is 9252. So if I go to type, if I go to search and type in W-I-N-V-E-R, so W-I-N-V-E-R in your search bar, it will tell you what version of Windows operating system you have. And you see mine is version 21H2 on this one here. Okay, that should help solve your problem. I'm gonna say hello. This is Irvin with PC support, whatever, PC support. I have your thinking about Windows update check to make sure that your computer time is correct if still not working download Windows update assistant and hopefully you have Windows 10. Um, if you have like Windows 7, I, I don't know. That may not work. Uh, because this is for Windows 10. Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10. Update Assistant. This will install the latest version of Windows. I'm going to leave it at that. Hasib, you can let me know, but I'm going to close the ticket. Uh, but you can you can let me know, and I'm curious.
to see if, if that helped you. Okay, so let's do a follow-up on the tickets that we've done last week, which is see if we got any feedback. We talked about this one, which was I can't access a website, and I said this issue most likely related to firewall or website routing. This was in the previous help desk video, so if you want to check that out, you certainly can. It's on my channel. Uh, as I said I would suggest asking the firewall team to take a look. This and that, I didn't get any response. So for those reasons, we're going to close the ticket so we can move on. Normally, you don't close the tickets unless you've resolved the issues, but you know this is a different setup here. Uh, you know We're going to close them so we can keep creating more videos and it's easier to keep track of, but never close the tickets otherwise. I'm going to tell their result. This other ticket was related to issues with a laptop microphone. I said, uh, please make sure that inside the recording software you have uh, your microphone selected as input device. I didn't receive any response to it. And I'm going to close the ticket for that reason.